Lord Sakai, please join me. The tale of Gosaku awaits you. Gosaku? Tell me about him. Gladly, my lord. Two and a half centuries ago, Tsushima was terrorized by the Red Hand Bandits of Akashima. Around this time, a farmer named Gosaku heard the spirit of a dead samurai calling to him. He found the body, still clad in brilliant armor. Overwhelmed by the armor's beauty, Gosaku stole it. Before long, the Red Hand reached Gosaku's home. Knowing the farmers would lose everything if the bandits went unchallenged, Gosaku donned the samurai's armor. The bandits charged. Gosaku's sword arm trembled in fear. He resigned himself to death, but blow after blow glanced off the armor, and Gosaku did not falter. The bewildered bandits staggered back, tripping over their feet. A mysterious sense of calm suffused Gosaku's body and mind. Impressed by Gosaku's bravery, the dead samurai spirit guided his blade. Before long, Gosaku cut down the final bandit, and the Red Hand were never seen again. Years later, when Gosaku died, the farming families locked the armor away for safekeeping. Each family holds a single key to the lock. Now Terra stalks our island again. The farmers of Tsushima claim to have seen Gosaku high on a hill, looking for a mighty warrior to protect our farms once more. still locked away. And now the Mongols are hunting for it, raiding farms across the island in search of the keys. Which farmsteads hold the keys? Hmm. Aoi, Iijima, Kuta, Koshimizu, Ohama, and Yagata. If you find the keys, they say the armor is hidden on a hilltop in Akashima. The Mongols will never lay hands on it. Of that, I am certain, my lord. Yeah! 
uncle's got here first. Locked. I should try one of the keys. Kusakuzamo. The Mongols will learn of its power firsthand. Sturdy. Surprisingly light. I want answers. How dare you threaten us? My lord, maybe you can talk sense into them. Tell me what this is about. My lord, I am Saburo, a highly respected merchant in Umugi. If you want my respect, earn it. Why are you threatening these people? My family has gone missing. And these people refuse to speak. Something foul has happened. Why was your family here? I made arrangements for us to escape the island. We were to meet here, then sail for Iki. That's not possible. The Mongol fleet controls the sea. I paid a crew of smugglers to take us to safety. Unsavory sorts. But they've helped several families since the invasion. My wife Aki was terrified. And little Jotaro wouldn't stop crying. I had to do something. And now your family's missing, along with the smugglers. And these people know something. I will find out what happened. You will remain silent. Yes, my lord. But don't go too easy on them. Everyone, gather here. I need to speak with you. This man claims his family was here recently. Did you see them? Nothing? Has anyone heard about smugglers promising safe passage of Tsushima? My lord, I think I saw them. A woman and a little child clutching a toy. Where did they go? I didn't see them leave. I saw no one like you describe. I want to hear from each of you. Please don't strike me down. I don't know a thing. Do any of them talk about escaping the island? Only the rich can afford it. Ask Chota. You talked to some of those families, didn't you, Chota? I only got here yesterday, I swear. Running away! Get him! You! Stop! I don't know anything! Spare me, my 
Lord! Stop running, you fool! I didn't do it! Start talking. The, the smugglers were here. They led the merchant's wife and child away. I followed, but they caught me. Said if I told, they'd, they'd cut my throat. I promise you, they won't get that chance. Where did the smugglers take them? West. There's a watchtower on the coast. I think that's where they meet their boat. Sign of Subro's wife and child. I'm right here! soon. Uh, you saved us! I don't know to do this! You saved us. I, I don't understand. Uh, they said there would be a boat to meet us. There's no way off the island. They plan to take your money and kill you. Was there a woman and a little boy with you? No. Uh, just us. Go home. Saburo's family might still be nearby. Recently, a toy. 
Maybe Sabro will recognize it. He needs to know. I found this. Hmm? Jotaro's toy. I don't understand. The smugglers. They lied to you. There was never any boat. No. Everyone in Omugi knows who I am. They wouldn't. They did. Your family is gone. I killed those responsible. You didn't save them. What kind of samurai are you? All of you! You betrayed us! You did this! You did this! Saburo, we need to stand together. Take what money you have left and help these people fight back. But first, bury your family. <sighs> should have learned to use a sword. Lord Sakai. Halt, Ronin. State your business. I'm not a Ronin. My name is Jin Sakai. A samurai? Lady Sanjo will want to see you. She's in charge of Omugi Cove. Please, come with me. This way, my lord. It's important you speak to the lady. Sakai, this is Lady Sanjo. Welcome to Umugi Ko. I see the Mongols haven't found this place. Thankfully, no. There hasn't been bloodshed here for many years. Anyone who draws a weapon answers to my men. Your safety is assured, so long as you abide by that same rule. Now, please, tell me how I may help you. I'm looking for a smuggler named Goro. <laughs> Interesting. He is downstairs, having his third bottle of sake. Enjoy your visit with him. Never shoot a friend. Thank you. Come see me again sometime. I think we can help each other. must all be someone. Who must you be? Lord Sakai. Aye, the samurai are all dead. I'm very much alive, but my patience is dying. Lord Shimura asks that you repay your debt to him. He's alive? What does he want? To deliver a message to the mainland. Uh, I charged a lot for that trip, even before the Mongol blockade. You owe my master a debt. This will repay it. Then I have no choice. After Komoda Beach, I thought my debt to Lord Shimura was erased. That's why I was drinking. To celebrate your escape? To mourn the samurai. Those warriors died protecting men like me. Hmm? If that's how you feel, Find your courage. Help us avenge them. 
We need a lot more samurai to do that. We'll receive them when you deliver Lord Shimura's message. Hmm. This is my home. Come in. Hmm. Getting past that Mongol blockade won't be easy. Do you have Lord Shimura's message? He has it. At his camp on the Akashima coast. Ah. I can work with that. One of my boats is hidden near Fort Mitodake. This map shows where I'll wait on the forest road. Open up, Koro! We're not leaving until you pay us what you owe! Shit! I'll deal with them. Get moving. And I'll leave you to it. See you in Akishima, Lord Sakai. There's no use hiding, Koro! I didn't call for Ronin. Uh, my lord, what's your business with Koro? Private. We'll... we'll be back! My lord, please, help me! What's wrong? My daughter's missing. I haven't seen her in days. Could she have run away? She wouldn't do that. Please, find her. My mother was like you. Would stop at nothing to keep me safe. Then you understand. Where did you see her last? At the dojo. I left early. She said she'd catch up, but she never came home. I'll do what I can. Someone there should remember the girl. Never be free and take orders. Do you need a swordsmith, my lord? Sakai's got the Mongols' word. I need to find a girl named Kuma. I don't know anyone's name, and I don't want to. Leave me be. Do you know a girl by the name of Kuma? The merchant's daughter? Yeah, I know her. Haven't seen her in days, though. I need to find her. <laughs> Sorry. Can't help you. I'm looking for a girl named Kuma. Girls, boys, chickens. I have it all. For the right price, call them whatever you like. Fool. Samurai should surrender to him. Hey, warrior. Over here. I know who you're looking for. You know Kumo? Yes, but we can't talk here. Follow me. I knew it was too good to be true. Something's wrong. Her mother hasn't seen her in days. We can speak privately here. Kuma is a friend. Last I saw her, she was leaving with a man who promised her a job. What kind of job? Running an inn. She wanted to earn some money for her mother. Made me promise not to spoil the surprise. Where's the inn? Numanaka Inn, up the main road. Numanaka Inn. Kuma should be here. Throw your blades! Let's finish! Oh,
Escape my plate. Forced you to do what? Rob people. They made me wait on the roadside, calling for help. Most people would stop. Some wanted to help. Others... It's over now. Let's get you home. Surrender, and you can live. Girls, boys, chickens. I have it all. For the right price, call them whatever you like. Time to end this. Glad I could help. How did you find us? I followed you. Saw you talking to that Ronin. After you left, I approached him myself. That was brave. Ronin are dangerous, unpredictable. Nothing compares to the fear of losing your child. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. I work metals, woods, and cloth. How many horses you suppose the Mongols brought on their ships? It must be hundreds. <laughs> Lord Samurai, please, I have a message for you. What's wrong? A demon is going to kill me if I don't tell you his tale. Don't waste my time. Demons are just legends. Not this one. 
His name is Kojiro, and he cannot die. Long years ago, Kojiro was a straw hat ronin. So fearsome, deadly, and bloodthirsty, his own brothers turned against him. From dawn until dusk, dozens of straw hats fought Kojiro. He slew them all. Those who escaped that day disowned Kojiro from the straw hat ranks, but never crossed him again. The spirits of death were so astonished by Kojiro, they blessed his armor to grant him a tireless sword arm. He's now more than a man. He's a slayer of legend. When the Straw Hats betrayed our people and joined the Mongols, they welcomed Kojiro back as a brother. Five killers from the Straw Hats have joined Kojiro and sworn an oath to kill you. Kojiro wants me to know I'm hunted. I'll be on my guard. No need, my lord. Kojiro will grant you the honor of a duel. But you must earn that privilege by dueling the five straw hats who joined him. It seems I already accepted this challenge without realizing it. And you know they're waiting across the region and will use innocent people to draw you to them. I'll finish this and make sure Kojiro dies as he should have all those years ago. Be careful. I've never met a man like him before. I'm not even sure he is a man. Yuzo said you're the greatest swordsman he ever met. I had to see for myself. You'd be better off taking his word for it. I've trained with the blade since I could walk. There's no one left to challenge me but you. Stories don't do you justice. They never did. You fought well, but we're finished. Lord Saka, thanks for coming.
you understand. This is just a job. It is an honor to meet you, my lord. Prepare for battle. I'm ready when you are. We don't have to do this. I promise to face you. I may only be a Ronin, but I keep my word. As you wish. You can live. Thank you. But I must decline. I hope you find true honor in your next life. Finally, I was getting tired of waiting for you. This is madness. You're not a warrior, just a murdering dog. That's the spirit. Come on, Sakai. I've been looking forward to this. Here now.
you'll never kill again. I need to face the man who sent these Ronin after me. That musician in Umagi Cove may have an idea where Kojiro is. Lord Sakai! Thank the gods! The straw hats that Kojiro wanted me to duel are dead. He already knew, my lord. I told you, he is no ordinary man. You saw him again. He came back, told me you earned death by his hand. He'll wait for you in a cave at Omi Monastery. My own clan's territory. He'll regret that insult. You mustn't face him. With that demon-blessed armor, he'll never tire in battle. We'll see about that. I'll pray for your victory. They can change sides just for us. Lord Sakai, at last. The musician told me your armor was blessed by demons, Kojiro. Do you believe him? I think you should have stayed a legend. Killed a thousand men. Every death was sweet. The musician, the musician was right. You are a demon. Finally killed me. Is that what you want? Cemetery. 
Searching him. What were they looking for? by shallow cuts. They were torturing him. Whatever they wanted, he wouldn't give it up. Torn flower petals, dirt, like he was digging for something or trying to hide it. He gave his life for whatever he was hiding. I should see if I can find it. to return something that was stolen. I never thought I'd see this again. One of your monks lost his life to protect her. That man was no monk. He was a peasant we'd taken in. One morning I woke to find him gone, along with this statue and one of my robes. Then he wasn't a martyr. He was a thief. We are all subject to our choices. His ended in suffering. They've done. Kushidera Temple deserves reverence, not bloodshed. Centuries of wisdom lie within those walls, and the Mongols were ready to torch it all to the ground. They attacked for a reason. The temple gives people hope. The abbot's been telling people to pray for a great storm to wash the invaders from our home. Now the abbot's missing, and the brutes stole the most sacred relic in Toyotama. A statue of Buddha, carved at the temple's founding. My brother would have recovered them. He would have given these monks hope before they ran for the hills. And we honor his memory and restore the temple. 
The Mongols stole the statue of Buddha from the main hall. And the abbot? He and his closest followers fled. I'm hoping they found shelter. I'll see to the monks. I hope Abbot Kome is safe. The abbot is from Cedar Temple. Why did he come here? To help resist the Mongols in Toyotama. But when they attacked, he escaped. The battle was chaotic. Might be difficult to track them. There's a farm nearby that supports the temple. We'll start there. There. The Mongols had taken it over. I put an end to that. And the abbot must have found shelter. This reminds me of another time Abbot Kome went missing. The temple was divided by a feud between our senior monks. What were they fighting about? I don't remember. But it seemed important at the time. The abbot disappeared for a week. We dropped everything to look for him. What happened to him? He hid from us on purpose. And we stopped fighting in order to find him. He's a cunning leader. Another time, my brother and the healer, Hochi, were fighting. The abbot started carrying a rock everywhere, arguing with it night and day. Hochi and Enjo were so embarrassed, they reconciled. How did your brother feel about the abbot? Enjo respected him, like a father. If the Mongols captured the abbot, it could work out well for us. It sounds like he tricked them into giving up the invasion. <laughs> You're beginning to understand Abbot Kome. Fire! Coming from the farm! Is it the abbot? The bastards love their fire, don't they? He's not the abbot. People Just say that one of his followers. Keep searching. He's dead. Burned alive. Norio. I've seen Mongol's maps. They have maps. So what? They know every village, fort, river, and water barrels. Tiptoe. That's how they're weak. Straw bedding. Hmm. Damn. Could the abbot have saved himself? Protected himself with wet bedding. Escaped out the back. Maybe he survived. Whoever survived the fire went this way. Then there's still hope. Footprints are heavier, farther apart. He was running.
de corte. Y vas a dar. Con la niña. ¡Sube! Searching near the waterfall's edge. More blood. He jumped down. No. Is he? I'm sorry, Norio. Without his leadership, the monks will leave. And the temple will fall. The Mongols won. What's that next to him? A Lotus Sutra. Written in the abbot's blood. His final act. Like a samurai's death poem. The point of this sutra is that we can all be Buddhas. From the lowest peasant to the greatest noble. Written with his dying breath. Not for himself, but for those he left behind. Show the sutra to the monks. If they see the abbot's devotion, they might stay. And this is the sutra the abbot wrote in his own blood. A final act of devotion. A call to stand up to cruelty. A call to stay and not surrender. We will honor the abbot's sacrifice, Norio. We must not let Kushi Temple fall. Enjo the Guardian saved us once. Now his brother and Lord Sakai have saved us again. And together we can defeat the Mongols. statue of Buddha. Masako, how long have you been here? Not long enough. You need some rest. What I need is justice for my family's murder. I'll be one step closer once I catch the snake named Umara. One of the conspirators on the list. He supplied the weapons that butchered my family. Then we will find him and make him talk. We need to get out of the open. This way. Omada's rumored to be traveling to Umugi. I just don't know when, so I've been camping out, waiting. We can keep watch from here. Do you know what Omara looks like? I'm not sure. I haven't seen him in 20 years. You knew him? He supplied our clan, but he cheated us.
and try to blame my husband for not paying him enough. Was he right? Of course not. Now please, watch the road and get comfortable. We might be here a while. Masako, there. Men on the walkway. They look just like him. Exactly like Omana 20 years ago. They must be his sons. Were they both involved? I'm taking the canyon. There are people I need to speak with. People you need to boast to. Excuse me? <sighs> Never mind. I'll see you in a movie. They're splitting up. Let's follow them. See what we can learn. I'll take the left. You take the right. The canyon is narrow. Stay high to avoid being seen. Mm, ungrateful little rat. Too high and mighty to help me do the dirty work. But when I'm rich, no doubt he'll help me spend the money. our family. Old Adachi is dead. His clan, too. <laughs> Kipe says what I did is shameful. But he doesn't remember what Adachi did to us, to you. <laughs> By morning, I'll have enough money to make up for what they took from you a thousand times over. <laughs> Father's proud of me. Why wouldn't he be? Kipe uh, doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> My feet will never be dry. What I'll do when I'm rich is put in some decent roads. is Umugi. <laughs> should have I should find Masako. <laughs> Jin, over here. The one I followed was involved. He spoke of revenge against Clan Adachi. And what are we waiting for? He's on his way to meet the man who hired him. The man who ordered my family murdered. Let's get closer. Hear what they're saying. This way. I want out. You're just getting cold feet. It's not right. What a dachi did to father isn't right. Her family ending up in the street. Father's drinking. He stole from Adachi. And father was always a drunk. Listen, 
We pulled this off, and you can use the money to escape. Take your family and leave the Mongols behind. Let's get this over with. They're leaving. Let's follow. Keep low, or they might see us. at the beach. That's where I told him to meet us. Old fool, you can eat quick. He doesn't want anything getting out. I don't know how you sleep after that job. There were children. I didn't kill them. I just provided the weapons. Coward. I heard Lady Masako survived. That old lady? What's the worst she can do? I should gut him where he stands. Not yet. Wait. See what happens. Something's not right. Let me do the talking. I hope we haven't kept you waiting. Which one of you is Omura? That would be me. You have the payment? We do. No! Omura's mine! He's dead. Can't let this happen to us. <laughs> Talking about a letter. He might still have it on him. I'll look. I'll check the bandits. See if they're holding anything. A letter. This note bears the same clan emblem that was on the list from the inn. This was a setup. Whoever killed your family, lured Omura here to silence him. The coward is covering his tracks. Judging by this note, it's clear he's desperate for money. He must not lead a wealthy clan. Or he has no clan at all. You think my family's killer isn't a samurai? Maybe he wants to become one, start his own clan. And he's scavenging the corpse of Clan Arachi to fund it. Few people have the ambition for such a plot. I can use this. Narrow my search. First, get some rest. This hunt is killing you. Until I find the man responsible, there is no rest. He can't hide from me forever. <laughs> <laughs> 